There is one temple I've never explored. Hidden under the shadow of a giant power plant, it sits in mystery far off the beaten path. Join me today as I attempt to discover its secrets and go far into the unknown environments of Macau in an adventure like no other. The sun crept up above the horizon as the nature around me began to wake up. I love to start my adventures early in the morning. It feels like I have the whole day to create an unforgettable experience. What the day would hold exactly, I didn't know. But I excitedly walked into the unknown, prepared for an awesome adventure to unfold. Starting my hike in familiar territory, something strange caught my eye. Some sort of concrete structure, tied down with vines and hidden by dense overgrowth. I wanted to take a closer look and see what I could discover at this mysterious building. Good morning everyone. Today we are starting the video on top of uh, something that I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm currently on type of hills and this structure that I'm standing on, I'm really not sure what it is but it does give a really unique view. You can look through the leaves and just look at type of the big flat buildings. The sun is now coming up. I've taken my time this morning just sort of taking in the morning. Nature is waking up, people are walking around but it's that quiet morning bustle that I really like. But today, we have a very, very special, very special adventure. There is one temple I've never explored in Macau. Over 130 years old, it hides far off the beaten path in a part of Kalawan few have ever traveled. Found in the shadows of a giant power plant, it is a strange location for a temple. And that is exactly why I've decided to try hunt it down. I don't even know if we're allowed to go there. We're gonna go and find out though. to the Kotai Strip. Today is a very sunny day. However, Macau is beginning to get very humid, so I think I'm gonna sweat my butt off today. We're gonna be walking through the backside of the Kotai Strip, just gonna be doing a lot of walking in places I haven't been to before, so feeling really excited. Usually the Kotai Strip is a no-go for me, but due to the recent travel bans to Macau, this once crowded tourist hub is now left empty. It is a strange feeling to walk here, with these towering resorts made to hold millions, now hold next to none. I can't say I was ever a fan of this place, but I must admit on a nice day like today, without the streets crowded, I gained a new appreciation for the impressive hotels and unique landscape that Kotai Strip offers. So we are now in the back side of Kotai Strip. This area is still very much in development. I am now walking towards the power plant of Macau. Hopefully there should be a road that goes beside it. We'll see if we can actually go across. There's a lot of constructions on either side of the road, so I'm kind of having to jump in between the two. Fortunately, the way I had planned to go was blocked by construction, but in a way I was grateful because it meant I could do some more exploring. I continued my walk down the long road, waiting for the fence beside me to give way so I could hike up the mountain and find a path from there to reach the temple. Perhaps using a map would have been easier than just blindly walking, waiting to see a path. But then I would know exactly what way to go, and what is the fun in that? An adventure is at its best when you're lost in new environments. And to find hidden gems, you have to go where the maps won't. Go. 
So we have finally made it off busy construction sites and roads. We are now on the nature trails of Kolawan, which is nice. I have walked this area before, but I've never actually walked this dirt path. It's not an official trail. It's like a dirt path directly up the mountain. And it is certainly a calf burner, but so worth it. I am just walking in a very beautiful scenery right now. As I headed up the mountain on this unmarked trail, I had a feeling it was leading me somewhere special. I don't know how to describe it, but it was like there was an energy that grew ever more intense the further I ventured onwards. Really beautiful view that we just got to see, but now the path is going into the deep green forest right at the peak of this mountain. I'm really excited to see where this secret path leads. Every time I come to Kolowan, I always find new trails and they're always so beautiful. It's very exciting walking down a trail I've never walked before. Let's see what's at the end of it. Making my way further up the trail, the forest slowly fell behind me and the path began to level out. I found myself nearing the top of the mountain. Around me leaves rustled in the breeze and the ground crunched beneath my feet. It was a beautiful part of Kolowan I had not witnessed before. There's something very freeing about giving yourself up to a trail. You let it lead you to where it wants, willingly following it into the unknown, like an unwritten agreement that for the currency of steps, it will share with you its secrets. And luckily in my case, that secret was in the form of a fantastic view. Perhaps it's because I was not born here, but for me the sight of seeing mountains and dense nature roll down to towering buildings is a kind of view I will never stop appreciating. But I couldn't stay too long. The day was getting late and I had a temple to reach. I hiked down the other side of the mountain until I saw the electricity plant. We have made it to the power plant or electric plant or some sort of plant and that means we are almost there at the secret temple. This road should take us all the way there. It is on the coastline of Macau, but a cool area for a temple just sort of overshadowed by a giant plant right beside it. I see the temple. <laughs> I can see that like iconic roof of a temple right now. What a crazy place to have a temple, right on the outskirts of Macau, away from anything except for a power plant. Very strange, very cool, and yeah, <laughs> there it is. Let's go check it out. Oh my goodness, what a strange but wonderful hidden gem. This temple is not the oldest in Macau. It is not the biggest, and certainly not the most photogenic temple I've ever visited. But truthfully, standing there, none of that mattered. To me in that moment, it was the greatest temple I'd ever witnessed. Not because of what it was physically, but more so what it meant to me. It stood far from anything, contrasting its environment. In order to reach it, you had to walk in an area you would not think to travel to. This temple made me see breathtaking views, discover new areas of Macau, and overall just have a great adventure. This is why to me, in that moment, it was so beautiful. You could say that it was just an ordinary temple, but the way I saw it, it symbolized so much more than that. I was actually looking for a place to do an outro, and I came down this street in Kaho Village I've never been down before. And it's really cool, there's some really old buildings here. And yeah, I'm just gonna walk down a bit and explore this area. This was not part of the plan, but wow, this, this is a, again, another very different view of Macau, a very different place. Thank you 
so much for joining me on this adventure. Remember, it doesn't have to be about the destination. Often just taking a walk, willing to be distracted when you see something new, is enough to create an awesome adventure. See you in the next one.